really look at the skills that you have, right? And really just start to really think in that forward thinking matter of just where can my skills, what skills do I have now? And will these skills be able to take me where I want to be at in the next five years? So think of that. You know, I really have that hard discussion with yourself. And I and I do it with myself all the time, right? Yo, plug me in. Plug me in to the STEM Plug Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the STEM Plug Podcast. Episode 9. Wow, episode nine. I have to say that it's of science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, some innovators in their space and some entrepreneurs. And we've had fun diving into a lot of different topics. But today, myself, Rich Nevaded, I'm here to plug in again. And specifically, I want to talk about the field of automation, right? So myself, I'm an automation engineer. And, you know, just with everything going on with all of the artificial intelligence, AI, all these different things, I think it's just a perfect time just to really dive into to automation and, uh, you know, all the cool things about it, right? So in a future episode of the STEM Plug podcast, I will actually have someone plugging in on the AI field. Me specifically, I don't really do too much AI. I use a lot of AI tools. Um, which I will tell you about later in the podcast or in another episode. But I really want to just dive into my specific area of automation, specifically lab automation is where I work in, right? So lab automation is a very, it's a cool field, very cool field and a very growing field. Um, so specifically, you know, I work with basically robots in the lab that, you know, really do, does the work that scientists do. So as you can think of a scientist doing some manual processes, now we have lab robots that kind of are able to do these tasks in more of a scale form and get rid of some errors that might happen um, with some different manual processes. So lab automation is a very, very cool, cool field. You know, me, I specifically, I studied, I studied biology. So I didn't even go to school for engineering. I went to school for biology. Um, I thought I was just going to do, you know, science research after I graduated. And I did that for a few years. Um, And then I was really just interested in like, I always told myself like, man, I really, I'm interested in like engineering. And then lab automation just kind of almost just fell in my face, right? One of my jobs that I uh, was working at before I became an engineer, I was really you know, I was still a scientist kind of, you know, running different experiments on, you know, these automation robots. And this was back in like 20, 2017. Yeah, back in 2017. You know, one day I just had an awakening almost. I just told myself, I'm just like, wow, like I'm doing experiments on these robots and this automation. I can only imagine like where automation is going to go like in the next five years. So myself, you know, my name Rich Nevada, I'm a forward thinker. So I was just thinking like, wow, I need to really start to learn like the ins and outs of this automation equipment, right? So I just took the initiative to kind of like, you know, work with the vendor that will kind of come in and, you know, service our different automation equipment. And I really just learned the ins and outs of automation. And then, you know, after that, 2018, I, you know, I was able to get a full blown position within lab automation and really started to grow in the field. But I really just wanted to mention this because, you know, as we grow in the world and every companies are looking to scale and be more efficient, the field of automation is a great area. And there's a lot of different, um, you know, different areas that you can even go into within automation. It doesn't specifically have to be into lab automation, right? Um, in the manufacturing environment, there's a lot of automation that's going on. You know, you're just seeing companies after companies that are looking to to scale and be more efficient. So really looking at, you know, look at the skills that you have, right? 
look at something that you that you may be doing. You can work at a bank. You may work at a transportation. All of these different areas, right? They are really looking into to automation. So looking at your skills and looking at where we are right in the world specifically with automation and AI is where it's going and just looking at your looking at your skill set, right? Wanted to go really dive into that that area and just uh talk about all the benefits and cool things about automation. Um so really when you think about things, just really think in a forward thinking mindset, right? Currently we are in twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three, I'm gonna say that again. Where will we be at in the next five years from now? Just think about that, right? Where will we be at in the next five years from now? You see AI, you see automation, everything that it's doing right now. Imagine if you can, you know, take those skill sets and learn those skill sets, where that can take you and propel you in the next five years from now. So that's what the STEM Plug Podcast is all about, right? I really want to educate and want all my listeners to really just think. Think about the skills that you have, right? Think about the skills that you have. Think about where those skills can be transferred and you can develop to even more. So within the STEM Plug Podcast, you know, I'm going to help you with that, right? That's why I have all the different guests that come on and talk about their different areas. And, you know, if you've been watching all the episodes, you can tell that all of the guests on the STEM Plug Podcast, they, you know, a lot of them have a lot of things in common specific skills and maybe different industries or different, you know, different fields that they might be in within STEM, but it's, they all have a lot of, of the same kind of skills that kind of lead into the specific area that they're in. So, like I said, kind of looking at future trends and innovation, right? One of the things I really wanted to dive in and plug into is talking about AI, right? Me specifically, and I'm going to have this link in the description in this video. But me specifically, you know, for some of my content, I use an app called Pictory. And, you know, this is an amazing app and platform that I use to help me, you know, make content that I use on my um, YouTube page. I wanted to really share this because, you know, there's opportunities where, you can really use different um, AI tools that can help you scale with your content. Of course, you have to have, you know, an idea specifically on, you know, what you want to talk about and, you know, different areas. It's not you have to come with that that foundational foundational knowledge. Right. But um, looking to scale, you know, thinking about me. Right. Like I mentioned, I'm an automation engineer. I work a very technical job that I'm in the lab most of the day. But still, even with me having my technical career, I'm still really growing my business, stem plug, growing my content, growing everything that I'm doing, right? So these AI tools really, really help me and really help me save hours where now I'm able to, you know, be able to put out content, spend time with my family, and I'm not able, I'm not having to, you know, do a lot of different tasks that might take me hours out the day, right? So really just remember about like, I really say AI and automation equals equals money. That's how I look at it, right? It, it equals money. And it really gives you that opportunity to really scale anything that you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You can be, you can be a, a baker. <laughs> you don't even have to be in STEM. Anything, AI and automation can help you scale in anything. All right, so with anything that is new or that is growing, some people like to ask, okay, you know, I hear all the benefits about automation and, and AI, but what are the challenges? What are the challenges that arise? And to be honest, like I said, this kind of goes back to, you know, really looking at your, your skill set, right? Automation in AI, I feel like it is going to replace a lot of jobs that specific people might be in. You know, I even look at, you know, within the biotech or pharmaceutical industry, 
you know, automation is going to really start to, you know, maybe replace a lot of maybe people that are in operator type roles that are just operating the equipment and don't really have, you know, more of that deeper, I guess, skill set within, you know, developing the automation or, or just, you know, wanting to lean towards that area. So really, that's kind of going back into the skill set, right? Automation and AI, I do believe, will start to, you know, replace some some human jobs. But with that being said, there are definitely some things that, you know, automation and AI, I feel like will, you know, at least we're not there yet, that will replace, you know, some specific jobs. Like you are definitely going to still have to have like uh, like people still working specifically in some jobs and these tools I feel like aren't going to be able to replace them just yet. Um, you know, I know one thing that kind of like annoys me, I'm not going to lie, is just like when I when I call a uh, cable or something like that and um, I'm having to talk to a, a robot instead of an actual person and you got to just like keep clicking a button to talk to somebody like that. That stuff, like, yeah, I've kind of been wishing, like, okay, I'd rather, I just want to talk to somebody to help me with this problem. This robot can't really help me. So it, it's a it's a work in progress, you know, with a lot of things. Kind of just going back into the main thing I really wanted to dive into with this episode is just going into really look at the skills that you have, right? And really just start to really think in that forward thinking matter of just, where can my skills, what skills do I have now? And will these skills be able to take me where I want to be at in the next five years? So think of that. You know, I really have that hard discussion with yourself. And I, and I do it with myself all the time, right? You know, I'm always trying to educate myself on different areas. Um, I know LinkedIn learning is pretty, pretty cool. Like I, I get, I have access to LinkedIn learning through my, um, my job. And I, I use it to really dive into a lot of different areas just to kind of educate myself and look at different skills because you have to really stay stay diving into yourself, stay feeding yourself that knowledge um, because time goes by so quick and things change. Things will be different in the, in the world a year from now, right? We're shooting this podcast right now in 2023, but in 2024, things will be different. 2025, things will be different. So looking at those skills that you have and really, really just seeing how you can cater your skills so you can continue to scale and continue to develop. So I appreciate everyone for tuning in to another episode of the STEM Plug podcast, episode nine. Make sure you subscribe, like, you know, keep um, keep plugging in. Like I said, we have some more amazing guests coming up on the STEM Plug podcast that we're going to be diving into some more stuff. And stay tuned. Like I said, I really want to help develop everyone's skills that are, you know, tuning into the STEM Plug podcast. So we'll be having some different courses coming up as well. So keep plugging in and stay tuned.